Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Diamond. Whistle. Slim Thick Diamond. That's right. Diamond is here. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, we still got my Barbie too. That's right, that's right. <laughs> That's quarantine Damn. weight? Oh, you been working out. What happened? Wait, that is think... small. Shut up. <laughs> no. Baby, it's like that. Yeah. Looking yeah. good, girl. You can tell the married men in here with still around me and Charlotte just look at the table. I ain't paying attention. I believe yes. y'all. Yes. What's up, Diamond? How's everything? Man, everything's great. And what? I've been watching you on uh, Growing Up Hip Hop. Did you like it? Girl. What's the tea? Let's get into it. When you did that verse did you on like the song, it? yes. It was very personal and very touching. And then it, you know, it's hard for me to like watch your relationship because I know you done been through a lot with pimping on the show. So where are y'all at now with that? We ain't talking. I mean, what is there to say? I felt like a lot of it was really cut out. You know what I'm saying? I really, I felt like I had went through something like that before. And I'm like, dang, why did I go through something like this again? But I didn't use my platform to really speak on those type of things when you're dealing with domestic violence in a relationship. I don't want to come across as a victim, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We call I it a survivor. I'm a survivor, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I had to sit down with Brad. That was, looking back on that clip, talking about what happened was very emotional for me, but it was also very therapeutic. And I had a lot of different women, like, reach out to me and so forth. So, you know, it happened. It is what it is. Now, at some point, we probably don't have to start filming again and be around each other, but I know how to coexist. And you know what I mean? Do what I got to do. Don't mean we got to speak to each other, but right. I'm still going to show up and do what I got to do. Doesn't reality TV complicate an uh, already complicated relationship? I heard they say it's, it's supposed to be some type of curse or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like if you are open, if you communicate and you tell people, you know, or you tell your partner exactly what the situation is. For example, you got to understand reality television. So, okay, y'all might want an argument. We probably really had an argument about something the day before. So it's like, okay, let's relive this argument that we had, that we found a solution and just have it on television mm. versus trying to create something out of nowhere. So you, know? you can't really get to a place of healing if you're constantly having to reenact trauma. And then when it plays, it's old, but it's months later it plays and now you got to relive it again with people weighing in on it too. I really, this time with my situation, I didn't want it to be, I didn't want it to be edited as much as it was edited, but I understand the, the, the network that I was on, mm -hmm. you know, which I appreciate is very clean, right? you know, but. So they you, have, they have do actual footage of what happened? Yeah, you. They yeah. do have, well, no. They have pictures of the aftermath, right. which they didn't show. I feel like, should he be on the show with you if he's put his hands on you? Well, see, that's why I don't believe in calling the police. Because if I would have called the police, then we really couldn't be on the show together. So I'm not going to have it to where I can't show up and do what I got to do. You know what you did. We're not going to sit around and drag it out. Like, you, you were jealous. Let's mm -hmm. be clear. You were a jealous individual. You know what I'm saying? And the way that it was portrayed from his perspective was like, you know, I was the one constantly nagging him, but the way my life set up and the way my schedule set up, baby, I don't have time to be calling and checking behind him because I'm so, I, I don't even have time for myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see what happens this season. Um, it ended with us kind of like talking about, I don't know if Brad or any, you know, other, like Dre or Kelly, anybody had reached out to him and talked to him or whatever. But like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be willing to show up and do my job. I said what I said, and we moving on. I love watching you because I do think you're such a dope artist, and you've been really consistent with Thank that. You. So it just it was hard for me to watch you, you know, even rap about it and talk about it. So as a woman, you know, a lot of people can relate to the situation that you were in, and I know it's not an easy thing to discuss. Mm -mm. But I'm here now, Slim Thee. That's right. <laughs> what made you do growing up hip hop? <laughs> okay, so I mean, it's like that's kind of like the way, not the only way, right? And y'all know I was presented with the, um, was it uh, Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, I, I was going to say, why why do Growing Up Hip Hop and not Love and Hip Hop? Because I... Go, it feels like Growing Up Hip Hop is more teens. Maybe not. That's what I would assume. Initially, I, w I didn't really feel, when I first watched the show, I thought it was, that I would fit for it because I thought it was for, like, 
the up and coming, you know, if, if their parents were celebrities. Mm-hmm. But I guess it fit for me because I was actually like a childhood started started out as a kid mm-hmm. and is still, you know, in the industry. Mm-hmm. I think this experience ex- this experience was better because it was like actual celebrities. Right. Like for example, I got a chance to get real tight with Drea Kelly and then her daughter Buku, mm-hmm. like R. Kelly's daughter, which is so talented mm-hmm. and even other like um uh, what's the other celebrity kid name? Oh, even Jermaine Dupri's daughter. She's such a sweetheart. But just being able to talk to them and see what their dialogue and their struggle is, is, you know, you want to make your own identity outside of your parent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So just being able to be around that and it wasn't like people were trying to be established. I guess most of the love and hip hop artists were kind of just starting or cast members were just starting out, most of them. Mm-hmm. So for me, it was like, okay, I've seen this platform. It's been successful. You got Brad on there. You got JD on there. You got Bow on there. And mm-hmm. they're still able to expand their brand. I didn't want to get on television and be showing out. Now I'm not here because mm-hmm. I'm in jail somewhere. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I felt like it was still... I could show people another side of me on reality television and still kind of promote my music and everything else I got going on. But it was very PG-13 compared to a loving hip-hop, I'm going to say. It, it seems like they've been trying to put you all on reality TV since you came out, though. Yeah. I remember way back in the day they wanted to put you and Diamond, I mean, you and Princess on a on a show. I mean, way back. Mm-hmm. I remember when they first um, approached us about it, it was back when Jessica Simpson and her husband at the time yeah. had the cameras in the house. Mm-hmm. So our the whole concept would have been like us being in the house, getting up, going to the studio, hitting shows. Now it's just each individual household, putting everybody all in the mm-hmm. same roof. You know, it's, it's interesting. Why didn't y'all do it back then? Back then, I don't think I was ready. Mm-hmm. And I don't think we were seeing eye to eye. That's when we kind of first started not really seeing eye to eye. And it was just going to be a mess. We were barely hanging on with showing up for shows. Gotcha, gotcha, together. gotcha. Mm-hmm. Have is, you, it, is it difficult being a, a childhood star? Because you were, you were so big at 15. But now, you know, the people that grew up with you are 30, 40 years old. But you're still young. You know what I mean? But people look at you as older because they grew up with you. Is it difficult to put a record out and people see you as an artist that's kind of like a, a young new artist? Well, for me, because I'll be just thinking about my age, mm-hmm. I'll be feeling like I'm older. But the reaction that I get from the people is still like, you still fresh. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, but then I... No, nah, you slick an OG diamond. But I don't know if it's my energy that gives freshness, newness, my mm-hmm. look. Sometimes they're like, oh, you still look young. I don't know what it is, but it's times I do battle with that. I do be like, oh, I done said this before. How can I say it different? Or I want to reinvent myself. I always try to find ways. It's no different from when you play in a, a movie role, you know, whether they growing their hair out or, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's different. I feel like I have that internal battle within myself, but as far as the people in the streets, it's like, even with Nuck If You Book, I love it. I'm thankful. That's my platform. That's why I'm here. But they still, I'm talking about, I don't care if I had a million and two more songs that charted. When I hit the club, Nuck If You Book, come That's on. a That's Negro spiritual. Song. Period. It's a Negro <laughs> spiritual. All we all need demographics. that. Yeah, all demographics. So I'm just thankful for that. I think that platform within itself kind of like just put me in my own little box. And it's really up to me to, you want to create something new? You want to, like even now we had an opportunity where we're supposed to be doing something special for John. Um, they're highlighting him and they want the group to get together and a lot of other people that he has kind of helped produce for the Southern, you know, takeover Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. initially started the takeover or whatever. And I battle with that. You know, this is talking. I battle with that because I love my family. You know, I come from the mob, but I worked so hard to establish myself as Diamond, Mm -hmm. right? So we had this conversation with the program director. It was like, dang, that's dope. I want to salute John. You know, he's helped me get to where I am crime mob that's the family but I established myself as diamond I got slim thick I got you know some other stuff that we're going to talk about is there a way that I can still come out and do pay homage to John with crime mob and then still come out and do something separate as diamond so sometimes I have those where if it's a situation where I have to choose like okay well the way the set set up you might have to just do the song with crime mob and it's like ah my fans still get a chance to see me but I got so much more that's out now Mm -hmm. but when you got a classic that's just right you know, if the Migos can do it, you can do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we all look, we look at Quavo and take off and offset as individuals, mm-hmm. but then they come together as collective as the Migos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think that can work. I hope so. Is it gonna happen? You don't know yet. I don't know. I'm still debating. I want to do it for John, but it's like it kind of I don't say confuses people. They see me back with the group, yeah. which mm-hmm. is all love. It's mm-hmm. you know, but then it's like, but I work so hard as me. 
So I'm battling. I'm still praying about it. Yeah, I'm glad they're honoring John because I saw that Mount Rushmore of Atlanta and I thought it was disrespectful. Lil John got to be on the Mount Rushmore of Atlanta and it's not even close. He ushered in a whole era of yeah. music. Two of them, actually. Crunk yeah. and Snap. Yeah. 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 So then who do you leave here. off? You put Lil John, Jermaine Dupri, mm-hmm. T.I., and you take Outkast, Big Boy and Dre, and put him as one head. <laughs> That's the Mount Rushmore of Atlanta. Yeah, that's true, though. I don't see how you. I don't see how you escape yeah, that's that. True. What about Jeezy? Ti is the father of all of that. The trap. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. you you said we're gonna get to some more things that you have going on, so I want to make sure we do that. So shouts out to Quiet Giants, my two angels, Shantae and Mimi, and shouts out to Showbiz. I have me. It's not a podcast. Mm-hmm. It's it's. It's like a talk show slash show. The way I would compare it is it's like The View meets 106 in Park. Basically, mm-hmm. it's a platform where artists can come on or any celebrity can come on and do what we're doing, talking about what they have going on. And after you talk about what you have going on or whatever hidden talent that you might have that you never show with the world, now you have an opportunity to get on stage and perform. Mm. Which I can show y'all a little clip. Sure. <laughs> oh, you already shot it and everything. Yeah, I got, okay. I got some, and I got a little theme song and everything for it. The song is called "Pull Up." The show is called "The Pull Up." Mm-hmm. Okay. So, are y'all gonna come be on the pull up? Yeah. yeah. Even if y'all can't physically come, I still could, you could do a call. Yeah, because Ember, you got the car show. That might be a good time since the car show is coming up. Yeah, pull up. We gonna add the trailer to the video. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. But yeah, so I'm just. Who are some of the guests you already did? One of my favorite, to one of Braxton. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I love all the Braxtons. You know, they all have their own personalities. But to Wanda is is like it's like a little. She's like a little secret, like a a quiet. Like she's so talented. Mm-hmm. She has the she's the business savvy. She's so intelligent. Um, actually, I have my own skincare line that's called Diamond Glow Skin. Shouts mm-hmm. out to Charlotte Wilson, my partner. Tawanda also has her skincare line, and we kind of, um, the person that actually makes all our products, like, we're all kind of always together or whatever, but she has so much personality. She has a hidden talent that I don't know why she don't really show it, <laughs> but with the show, you know, we had her to talk about what's going on in her life, her skincare line, and she got on stage and did something I thought was dope. The res Deshaun mm-hmm. is the next person who's supposed to be coming on there. Shouts out to Drea Kelly. I had Drea Kelly on there as okay. well. Shout out to Derez Deshaun. A lot of people don't know, you know, I got the Res Deshaun sign. What? Mm-hmm. I went down to Atlanta and I heard his song in the club and um, I thought it was dope and I thought he should be, have, he should be on the label. Wow. And people were surprised. I didn't take no money from it. I just thought he was dope. And we got him a deal. That's dope. Yeah, no, As I feel like you knows. threw your name on this song, too. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> he said, yeah. yeah. I actually met Drea Kelly way back in the day in She's Chicago. So cool. And she could dance her ass off, yes. let me tell you. That part. <laughs> That part from just the things that she's been through, how transparent she is, the advice that she has, her work ethic. Like, she has a dancing class. And literally, out of all the dancing classes I've been to, hers to me is the best. I feel sexy. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to go home, you know what I'm saying, put it on your man or whatever. <laughs> like, it's not raunchy, it's tasteful, whatever. Like, yeah. Do you, do you feel pressure, like, to be on uh, reality shows or, like, do things like to pull up to expand, like, the, the music career? Um, I wouldn't say pressure, but I feel like you have to evolve and adapt. As we know, this industry switches up. So podcasts, and if that's what's mm-hmm. on, you got to learn to kind of jump on stuff early mm-hmm. if you're going to really be a student of the game. Reality television, same thing. At first it was like, oh, my God. Real. But it's kind of expanded into that. So if you can get on there and, and, and use that platform to market whatever else you got going on or get in, get out, so be it. I'm like, I'm doing everything. Mm-hmm. Radio, reality, music, TV. I said it already. Movies. Mm-hmm. How, about your, deals. how about your son? How he's How's he doing? Oh, he's doing good. Four going on 14, child. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I'm a mom. It's, how was the pandemic with you guys in the house together? The pandemic was a struggle. Because all he wanted to do was just go to the park. Right. Like, he like, I'm tired of doing the same old routine over and over again. I took him out to protest with me. Mm-hmm. I think that was, you know, something that really impacted him. It impacted me just being able to see, like, him being able to participate and really know what's going on. Seeing other kids, like, you'd be surprised how resilient 
kids are. Like, he out there with the signs, no justice, no peace. Wow. Yeah, like marching. So, I don't know. He my little man. That's my <laughs> little man. How was he around the house during the pandemic? Because there's it's no friends. It's nothing to do. It's just mama Sad. and him. But it's well, Atlanta. See, that's on a regular. <laughs> Nobody told me when you have one kid, you got to have another one. So, mm. I, 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 I just be feeling bad. Like, he don't never have nobody to play with outside of you. when it's time to. Yeah. You didn't get him a dog or nothing? He had a dog, but that, I mean, shoot. That only lasts so long. You I know? Thought, what happened to the dog? <laughs> I was the one cleaning up all the mess. Well, you thought the four-year-old was going to clean up the mess? I thought it was going to be a joint collection. A joint? It was going to be responsibility. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, it was a mess. Well, <laughs> last time you was here, you were saying you and Princess was working on music together and projects, and wasn't it something about a show with your son and her son together? Like, what happened with all that? Didn't happen. I mean, I think just where we are... It's just a place where we can at least just do it for the culture. I must say respectfully. Um, so you're not seeing eye to die. We it's no beef, but we just yeah we're on different paths. We just on different paths. My thought process and her thought process is different. I've been on my own for so long. She's you know been doing her thing for so long. But when we come back together and do music and we hit the stage, chemistry is it'll never go away. Right. So how y'all came together in 2019 then? Salange. Shouts out to Salange. Oh, because she booked y'all to do the, the show. I mean, her, what was it, her well, birthday we were, or something? Um, It was the Met Gala. Met Gala, We were okay. vibing, you know, me, her, and her team or whatever. Um, We were supposed to do the Coachella, but then everybody kind of got sick or whatever. And we kind of kept contact throughout the whole thing. And that's when we did the Met Gala, hung out with her, had a great time. It was very empowering. And just seeing how happy the culture was for that. Mm -hmm. So we was like, whoa, this bigger than us. We're going to have to put our big girl panties on and... and Make it do what it do. So I don't know if there's something else that comes down the line that makes sense money-wise for us to do culture-wise. Yeah, but as of now, I'm just, I'm doing my own thing. So what caught, was there a reason for the, the I guess, I don't want to say fallout, but after y'all got back together in 2019, was there a reason that y'all separated again? I'm trying to think. It wasn't a beef. Okay, I'm going to keep it 100 I always keep it 100. Uh, we had a deal to do a, a show. And I had that deal and I had the grown up hip hop deal. Um your own reality show. Just the two of y'all you mean. We had a, we had a deal for that mm -hmm. and then I had the grown up hip hop deal. But it was something on down to imaging like that's just I think where it started. I think we had a, a certain look. One little thing where I think my hair was green, her hair was blue. In the midst of it, I think she wanted to start wearing dreads or something. And it was like little stuff was like, well, that's where she is and her image. And I'm like, well, no, well, let's do this because people like you with the blue hair. They like me with the green hair. I start to see little signs of where we would clash. She can do blue dreads? <laughs> no? <laughs> Just asking. And it was like, you know, she got her. It was like, I'm not trying to tell you to look like this and do this. Mm -hmm. And she got her own way of doing it. We just kind of. We started bumping heads because she was used to doing things her way. I was used to. And I, she didn't want to kind of change. I didn't want to kind of change. So it was like, look. I just right just sometimes it's the it. little things yeah you're like we can't even yeah because i don't want us to get on reality tv now we hating each other and it's a big beef and everything we do is really for the culture like we have a responsibility to uphold mm -hmm. like just even with the new artists and everything that's coming up like we are that we're that middle we bridge the older generation and the younger generation mm -hmm. so i was like nah we just gonna keep the court. You and Princess have messed up a lot of money together. You know you think that? So? Yes. <laughs> you wanna know what though? Yes. Peace for me. True. Mm -hmm. True. I'm happy. Everything's I mean, not about money. True. Right. That's who right. don't want more? But anything that I want, I feel like I pretty much have. And if there's mm -hmm. anything that I want, I'll work to get it. Yeah. So I don't have to have a billion dollars to be the happiest person in the world. I don't that's not that doesn't define and my And sometimes happiness. being relying on somebody else, right, is not as as great as being able to do it yourself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you can only handle what you could do and you can't control somebody else and, and sometimes that's, that's a difficult mm -hmm. I've been so used to me my own team the way I move and it works too sometimes because like even if we do shows I got my team she got her team and the, and the boys they got the guys they got their team but I've been out here so long and just moving the way that I move on my own that I just and you can't fuck up what's for you anyway so if it was meant for you to have it y'all would have it at least we do understand that the bigger picture. If another opportunity comes, right, y'all can work together. Y'all can still work. It, mm -hmm. But anything outside of that, we ain't gonna be doing an extra. 
Okay. Now, let me ask you this. When it comes to this versus that's coming up, right? Soldier Boy versus Bow Wow. Who you got? <laughs> I got SB. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why you got Soldier Boy? Um, well, first of all, not just the fact, of course, that he was my ex, but I just really love his work ethic. A lot of, I learned a lot from him. Like, for example... I look cute now. I got my outfit on. When we go, I got my camera crew. When we go downstairs, I'm gonna do a little freestyle video or something based off of what I like. I learned to seize the moment. Like mm -hmm. he would, he mm -hmm. will content, content, content. Whether it's beefing with somebody, <laughs> whether it's getting online and creating another opportunity, being a gamer. Now that's a stream of ink of revenue. You know what I mean? So, um, his catalog, his catalog is is pretty pretty long i think um bow bow got a catalog too now <laughs> bow has a because remember he was mr 106 in part mm -hmm. so it's i'm rolling see, with sb this is the thing the internet reaches more people mm -hmm. television bow got the tv on lock like movies for days but sb got the internet and the internet as y'all know it just so i don't know i don't know what songs they're gonna do either <laughs> right but it's gonna be right. interesting i'm gonna have my popcorn i'm definitely gonna be yeah. talking i'm gonna be watching i think bow got the, the the lady records he does but sb got all the clubs and everything up but kiss me through my kiss me through the phone is a banger too though oh, yeah. so i don't yeah, oh, yeah. yeah 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 oh yeah yeah well now when it comes to dating because you have had some high profile relationships what's next for you now well <laughs> uh-oh um. something's happening <laughs> <laughs> i'm dating i am dating okay um not dating like multiple people. I am seeing somebody, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you know. I got a situation. Um, this particular person isn't in the industry, right? It's okay. weird, right? I date somebody in the industry and be like, yeah, man, I can't I can't be dating nobody that's not in the industry. They don't understand, you know. They don't understand our lifestyle, da, da, da. Then they be a mess. Right. Then I get with somebody regular, yet yeah, I can't date nobody in the industry. See, that's what I'm saying. I just need somebody that's not in my industry that can level me out, da, 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 da. So, it, it hasn't been a thing towards like, oh, I like rappers or oh, I like regular nine to five hardworking people. It's more of a vibe, you know. You bringing something to the table. I got my own money. You better have y'all bag. Uh, <laughs> she can't say without giving away who it is. Um, we met through a mutual friend. He been on my page. I had him on my page, but I'm not tagging him right away because you know how to. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Somebody gonna tag cause... him. <laughs> you know how to use H O. But you see him though. <laughs> but I might not tag him because I learned my lesson from that. Okay. What was his occupation? A uh, corporate thugging. Oh, okay, He's okay. Is his, Is he on the show? He can be on the show. Is he on already with his mom? On the show. From a... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no. Okay. Wait, 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 what are you talking hold about? On, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. So is he a lawyer, an entrepreneur? He's an entrepreneur. Okay, okay, He's okay. not a lawyer. He's an entrepreneur. Gotcha. He's trying to make sure he wasn't on this last season of growing up. <laughs> Hip-hop just got out of jail or nothing. Ooh, How does he feel about, like, you know, you putting him on his page and stuff? Does he want that? Or he's like, nah, let's keep it on the low. It's funny because we had a conversation about it, and I know you watching this. We had a conversation about this, and he was like, so... When you gonna claim morning. me? Right. He was like, so with Charlamagne <laughs> Envy and Angela Yee, Ash. <laughs> I said, so what you want me to say? He was like, what you gonna, what you want to say? I'm I said, what situation. you want me to say? It was a trick question. I That's was like, definitely a trick question. <laughs> definitely a trick question. I was like, I, shoot, I live my truth. I'm gonna keep it real. You know they gonna ask me. I'm gonna keep it real. He was like, okay. You gonna bring him on the show? We like do the right thing then. I was like, all right. You ain't keep it real though. Yeah, I did. We don't she know did. His name. She said, hold on. He just she said, said corporate thugging. He's on the page. She's not tagging him. She's in a situation. Burr. His name is Burr. Burr. <laughs> <laughs> okay, his stage name is Burberry. Hmm. hmm. His stage name? You just said he's not in business. I'm just saying stage because. I mean, he has a real name. Oh, his nickname. I said stage, but he has yeah. His nickname Let me is. Go Burberry. look at this page got you, right got you, now. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. You gonna find him in ten seconds. Yeah, this is my job right here. Okay? Sometimes you gotta post him just to make sure he is who he says he is. Right, because the truth will come. Exactly. Make sure he ain't got no wife, no other family. My ex before the ex before the ex. Uh -huh. and I was my ex before the ex before the ex. Uh -huh. I put him my on my page move. when I tell you everybody came out to woodwork. Sheesh. Baby mamas and all types of things. Side deal businesses that he did. People looking for him with money. I'm like, you know what? Mm -mm. Cause ain't nobody finna hit me over the head looking for you. Yeah, it's like, yeah, this yeah. is a dope picture how you did it, right? Cause you you cut his his like his head off so you can't really see him, but you see the Burberry on the side. Ah! It's kind of it's kind of dope. It's kind of dope <laughs> okay, how you did it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay Burr. See how you see him? You can't really see him, but you can see him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see the Burberry. Okay. 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 Right. Oh, I know. 
Uh oh. Girl. Uh oh. Don't play now. Don't play with it. <laughs> I know your heart stopped for a second. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I'm happy. I'm happy if you happy. And I thank you. That's right. And you know, I've been getting outside more. You know, most of the time people invite me to stuff, but I won't come out. But I would. I want to shout out like five people. Mm-hmm. They're solid, right? Um, Stacia, Polo G mom. Yes. Shouts out to her. Mm-hmm. Um, Leilani, his sister. The whole that like they so cool. The whole family. Um, of course, Brett. That's always been my big sister. Shouts out to Eve um, and Soraya from Empire. Mm-hmm. I've been vibing with her. I've been outside. You've been Word. outside. I've been outside. Y'all happy? Y'all yeah, happy? we are happy. Do you, do, you, do you think rap and just the music industry period has turned into a popularity contest? It has. It's yeah. like high school. Yeah. It really is. It really is. Like, for me, even with this new generation, right, it's, it's not about who did it first. It's about who did it better. Like, we come from... You see, you was inspired by somebody, and you doing something similar. Pay homage, keep it pushing. Mm-hmm. But this new generation, maybe they'll try to take your whole thing like, and pass it like it was their initial idea, their mm-hmm. initial swag. Like, where they do that at? You feel like you have genuine friends in this business? The ones that I know, it's probably two more. Shouts out to Tiny too. It's two more that I can that I feel like is genuine, genuine. John is Will, mm-hmm. John. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fake fake people in this industry. Yeah, and you've you been in it for so long, so... And it's hard to... You got to play the game, you know what I'm saying? First, I was like, oh, that's fake, but it's politics. So mm-hmm. you go in, do what you do. Like I said, with that situation, you think I'm going to let him miss my bed? Oh, y'all ready for another season? What we... What we sign me up? What we shooting? Mm-hmm. What that... You, I'm not finna... So I know how to... Hey, how you doing? Or... And keep it moving. Like, right. when you understand the business and know how to play the game, you good. Don't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? Whoever you vibe with, you vibe with. If not, cool. But I ain't nothing to play with. Now, let me let you know this off the top. Mm-hmm. Off. Baby. Mm. You still <laughs> fighting? All that. I'll make a call. <laughs> like, I don't, don't. I can't cuss. So I'm trying to, you know. You can okay, cuss. You can cuss. We can cuss on here? Yeah, yeah, just don't do it too much. We don't want to have to keep bleeping you. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, don't get it fucked up. There like, you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm TTG always. When the last time you had to fight them? Now, you used to scrap a lot. Last December. Last December in a pandemic? Mm-hmm. Who you fought? What did tell us for what? What happened? It was a guy. A guy? Uh, Who won? Okay. I know you knocked his ass right out. I sure did. I see. Because he was trying to play with me. Was it a guy you knew? Was it at a club? It was somebody I was dating. Mm-hmm. And something went right. No. He was cheating. So. Guys don't really be admitting to cheating. You Wait, know what well, tell the story. Well, what happened? Now, you knock on the door. Go ahead. So, I'm like, can you bring me my bring me my shit outside? He's scared. He don't want to come to the door. Because one thing you're not going to do is goddamn, goddamn, give my designer bags away, mm-hmm. all my drip, whatever, mm-hmm. to the next bitch. Politely bring me my shit outside. He ain't want to do that. I ain't yell. See, when I'm mad, I'm calm. Because like, I already know what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. So finally, he came to the door. He threw this shit at my face. Why did he do that? Oh, man. Why did he throw Why a bag at you? Like, my, all my bags and stuff. He tried mm-hmm. to hurry up and throw it and close the door. Why did he do that? I went to town on that ass. On that You ass. put your foot right in the door, door came I closed? I sure did. How did you know, Andy? I know, I know. And we been through here. I sure did. What I'm did, not the one of the two. What, what did the other woman do? Not a, not a thing. Mm. Oh, so she was inside? Mm-hmm. Hiding. Only thing I would tell you, Diamond, stop dating white men because black men don't cheat. So I know that wasn't, I know that wasn't a black man that did that to you. But what about when you asked him if he's been with anybody else and he said he just got his dick sucked? What? My thing is, I tell guys off top. What? I'm like, look, this is what I tell them. Just tell me what you want, baby. You want to be friends? You want to fuck? You want to be in a relationship? Guys can't handle that. Just tell. I can adapt. Just right. tell me what you. want. Because they don't want you to do what you're gonna do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all, mm-hmm. and they're like, I'm going to do me. But he said he only got his dick sucked, and that was it. I was oh. like, on the show, he was oh. like, have you been with anybody else? And he was like, all I did was get my dick sucked. You got to respect the honesty. You That's believe stupid. that? You're not going to do all that to get your dick sucked. You're going to fuck. That's stupid. Why yeah. would you go there just to get your dick sucked? All right, well, if you're going to get it wet, you might as well time, fuck. <laughs> lie next time. You don't think that's a lie truth. already? No. no, some guys. Because like... I think guys think that's not really cheating. It like depends that. where he went. Where was he at to just get his dick sucked? <laughs> That could happen. What if a girl was like, I just got my pussy ate? Right. That could happen. That could happen. Okay. And what would you say? 
What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Why would, see, y'all don't want for y'all want us to put up with it. Why would I be in this conversation? <laughs> they like, nah. You nah. wouldn't jump in and ask. No, huh? Oh, what happened? You did what? <laughs> do y'all honestly forgive women if they do something? Or do you going you gonna yes. always So if if your lady said that she messed up and stepped outside, mm-hmm. would you forgive her and not try to get back? I've been with my yes. woman twenty three years. She has she has cheated That's on That's just cause y'all married. I've been yeah. with my, my wife since 26 even, years. Even prior to Before that, Before y'all was married? Yeah. Just, and why is that? I love her. And I feel like that's, that's hypocritical. You right, know yeah, what I mean? Because you know what Absolutely. you did, so you like, well... Absolutely. As a matter of fact, some guys prefer that because then they feel like it evens it okay. in a way because they'll be like, well, I did all this dirt. She did that, so now I don't feel as bad. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And we was wild young. She, I was... I was I, I cheated Watch in my adulthood that. too, but I'm just saying, Watch we was young. Like, she was, she was in college. Like, people gonna do what they do. Like, you know what I mean? That's gotta be realistic about the situation. But like, Charlemagne was the best. He was rubbing <laughs> of course. cream on his penis to make his, his <laughs> penis bigger. He was. That, 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 that has nothing to do with nothing. But, but he cried yes. and the tears fell on him while he was masturbating. Oh. But I just feel like it's hypocritical. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's it's, at the end of the day, it's cheating. Like, you know, okay, do she all, did her do thing, all, I did my thing. Do all guys cheat? No, black men don't cheat. Boys black do. men. Black boys may still boys be cheating. Do. Black men don't cheat. I don't cheat. think you can say when all man, anybody does really anything. Don't don't cheat. That's a hell of a generalization. There's no, there's no all anyone doesn't. Do a lot of men cheat? Yes. Do all of them? No. And it depends what kind of work the man has done on himself. Because I realized that when I was cheating back in the day, it was literally just to feed my ego. Mm. But now that you know, I don't have that wounded ego. It's not as wounded as it used to be. But she went stroking your ego, telling you how good you look. Um, like, Damn, daddy. I don't think fine, it got nothing to do with that. Good, nothing. I, Maybe it wasn't I, true. I don't think it got nothing to do with that. I just think it's that like yo, men really do things that we think make us feel like so-called men. But you realize like it's just because you got a bunch of women that don't mm-hmm. make you a man. I think it was the industry too. Oh, you, definitely. You grew, like you grew up on watching big pimping and, and mm-hmm. being around that's girls right. makes mm-hmm. you the man. So mm-hmm. you grew that's up right. on it. So you think that's reality. Mm-hmm. You, and you. Think you need that, and then you realize you don't need that. Mm-hmm. And I had my dad fuck me up when I was young, cause I remember approaching my dad about cheating, and my dad was like, "Oh, you only got one girlfriend. When you get older, you gonna understand." And I was like, "Shit! So having one girl is wrong." Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So it's a lot that goes into it. But I personally love being with one woman and giving all my heart and my soul to to my wife. Just want to keep going through that over and over again. You got to put your stuff up. You got to look over your back. Is she trying to go on my back? Lord have mercy. Like who want to keep That's going through that? Oof. That's stressful. That's stressful. And you have ever cheated? <laughs> have I cheated? No. Well, this is what I If you got to ask yourself that question, that is a big lie. Why would you lie like that? This is this cheating. If you're in a relationship with somebody and they keep cheating, keep cheating, you ain't going to leave them so you get even. Is that cheating? Yes. But they cheated first. That's all. You still cheating? You still cheating? That's when you're in a messed up relationship. Two wrongs don't make a right. That was back in 1999. <laughs> you still, you still <laughs> cheated, but I think all of those ups and downs, all those ebbs and flows, you know, it, it, whether you, if you love a person, you want to be with them, you choose to be with them. If not, then you keep it moving. But you got to be able to deal with all of that. How do you let yourself be vulnerable though in a relationship? Um, I, I'm working on a self sabotage because it's like I would end it before somebody could do something to me. If I saw a sign where you're <sighs> not consistent, I just cut you off or. That's a trauma response. Yeah. Diamond? Yeah. I used to, but I'm yeah. better now. I'm used to. I can't help it. I used to. Okay, Bert. Now it's like, <laughs> now it's like, you know, you got to, I give it 110. So if it don't work out, I'm not going to live with what if because right. I put my best foot forward. That's your loss because I know what I bring to the table. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I look at it. And then the way my life's set up, my schedule be so busy. I don't, I don't have time to do the, the drive-bys and the camp outside with the all black on and be ready to, you know what I'm saying, a bitch come outside to keep the car. I, I can't. The way the way my schedule is set up, I just I just too can't. busy. Too I busy. want you to go to therapy, Diamond. You been to therapy yet? I would like to go to therapy. No, yes. I'm not. I think you should try it. You think so? Yeah. What like what should I talk about? Everything. Because okay. you had a you've had a, a long life. Like uh-huh. you know you've been in the game since what 14, 15. Yeah. yeah. So between the industry and all the drama with the guys and you know everything else, I think it would be really good for you. Right It'd be now. good content for your show. I don't even know if you should play it out the on content. the show. No, it's, but it's you can talk yourself. about things that you learn if you more want about to. about yourself. And when you're you... comfortable enough, you can. But it's, make it about yourself. But that's good because they don't teach us that in our community. No. That's like, right. That's it's right. It's okay to do that. You think mm-hmm. that something is wrong with you and it's it's healthy. Like in, in every part of your life, whether you start as a kid, you get that's older, right. I understand that it's healthy. But I would, yeah. It's a lot of great black uh, psychiatrists and therapists in Atlanta. Okay. You I'm, 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 I'm going to definitely recommend you one. Well, this, and then... And then when you come to Atlanta, y'all coming to my show, right? That's now. right. 100%. Slim Victor. Let's talk about that. So that starts. That's actually about to start like next week. Yes. Or so this week. 
this week actually. So I kick off at Centennial Park Juneteenth um, in Atlanta, Georgia. They have this dope stage that's literally in the middle of Centennial Park. Um, Fabo was performing. Um, the legend. The legend. People don't respect. They don't give yeah, Fabo the respect homie. he deserves, bro. He's so talented. He is, man. He's so talented. Arrested Development performing. Um, Luke Nasty. Then mm-hmm. Saturday, um, I have iHeart and some other stuff where um, the Juneteenth event, celebration. Right, your Juneteenth yeah. celebration, and then you can get tickets where I perform like two or three songs off my new project. And then that Sunday, I go to Mississippi. So yeah, pretty much every weekend, I'm you know on my little slim thick tour. All right. How do you feel about the, the people? The evolution of Atlanta's music scene has it been hard to keep up? I like it. Mm-hmm. Only thing is, I felt like. Back in the day, Atlanta, uh, we would embrace out of towners more than ourselves. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So now I feel like now we kind of like putting our foot down. We still mess with out of towners, but mm-hmm. it's, we look we we look out. I mean, we always looked out for each other, but it's it was like an inner thing. It was like okay, what well, they hear from out of town, so we are gonna show them love first. Um, as far as the sound of keeping up, the only thing that I would say is I should probably incorporate more of melodic, more singing records. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it seemed like, you know, that's what the kids like, more to sing rap. Mm-hmm. Which, um, shouts out to Zay Tobin. This is actually the first time that I'm, you know, letting everybody know me and him have a project oh, nice. that's, that's about dope. to drop. And I like that. That's my, when I say my brother and he's so talented, like, it's even all down to the wardrobe. This man is a, a, a genius. <laughs> like not uh, when he not only does he get in there and he's like hands on as far as the production, and sometimes if he got to stand in the booth with you and be like, nope, you're not saying it right. Say it like this. Like he's very hands on to okay, this is the image. This is how you're gonna dress for this project. So we have a whole concept mm-hmm. of the way we're gonna bring this project to the forefront in about I said next two weeks. Y'all will kind of start seeing some more stuff. And I know Zay Tobin has worked with other females, but I don't think that he's had a full body of work, like where he just was hands-on with a female rapper, which really makes it dope. I could go in and be produced. It wasn't, okay, well, let me go in and do my own thing. It's, nope, I'm stressing the producer. This is what we're doing. Follow my lead. I got you. So I'm really excited about that. I think we got about seven tracks on a project that we're going to release. Shouts out to my brother Zay Tobin. And, um... Dang, how did I get on that subject? You just brought it up, talking about new music. Yeah, okay, yeah. And what you working on? Well, can we get into a record? Yes. What you want to play, Diamond? Shouts out to all the Slim Thicks. Either you was big and you're small, small and now you're big. <laughs> 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 Either way, this for the Slim Thicks, my new single. Check it out, Slim All right. Thick. Well, Diamond, we appreciate you for joining us. Would Charlamagne be considered Slim Thick? <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah. Would I you guess so. would you fight Charlemagne or his thighs too so. fat? Why would she fight me? What's wrong with you? Good, bro. Thank you. You know we go way back to like Man. 1999. <laughs> so yes, a long time. At least 2000, 2001, something like that. Yeah. I remember when Diamond was too young to be in the club in Columbia, South Carolina. The I whole remember, group. I remember you beat up that person. Hey, I don't know nothing what you're talking about. Okay. I'm a change in the <laughs> I'm involved. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's Diamond. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs>